Jackie and Jalen here back with another video. Uh, we're here at my uh, very best friend Savannah's house. We're doing this really cool project. We're going to take you on this journey on this really cool slap wall. Uh, before we jump into that, I just want to reach out and let our subscribe subscribers know that we, uh, we're so sorry for the delay. Uh, we are building our big huge warehouse and uh, we are currently moving a lot of big machines in there, so we're getting back into the swing of things with YouTubing. Um, so we decided to hit it off with this really fun project. Savannah hit me up about a month and a half ago wanting to do a slap wall. I had no idea what she was talking about when she showed me her info pic, and I'll post it right here. Um, she showed me, and I was like, wow, that's gorgeous, but that's definitely something we can do. Um, we came, we looked at her space, and she kind of just described what she was wanting. Um, and we said, okay, let's, let's tackle the project together. She does not know how to use any kind of tools or anything like that, so this was really fun uh, to not only let, to teach her how to do it, but to also give our viewers some insight and some inspiration if they want to tackle on a project of their own. So, uh, a little backstory behind me and Savannah. We're, we've been really good friends for about 12 years now. Um, we've been pregnant together. We uh, used to work together. We were yeah. teachers. Yes. At Primrose. We were in each other's wedding. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we've been inseparable for a, a good while. <laughs> Get rid of me. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're really excited to take you on this journey. And if there's uh, anything that you want to see more future videos on, make sure to comment below. Um, and we're ready to get started. <laughs> All right, guys, for starters, we went ahead and had um, Kevin here, Savannah's husband, help us get this credenza out of the way. Uh, we wanted to also take measurements of the wall. Uh, we got the length of the wall as well as the ceiling height. So that way we can determine how much wood was needed for the project. And Savannah is going to explain to us what she was wanting. Okay, so I saw this wall on Instagram, and it's like a black slab wall, and it has like the vertical lines with like all black. And I just thought it would look really cool and it was really boring. <laughs> <Thank you. Hey. laughs> so with with the picture that she sent me, I'm gonna put it right here in this corner. The picture is um, a black um, it, it has a vertical beams, look, uh, vertical beams on the wall. It's gonna look really cool. We're gonna get wood. We don't know what kind of wood we're gonna get, either one by twos, one by threes. Um, just to create that look for her. We're gonna be painting the wall first and then we're gonna be putting on those um, boards, those vertical boards to give her that look that she's wanting that she got from the inspo post. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> And we are here at Lowe's. If you're lucky enough, you can catch an H cart outside of the store. Uh, sometimes they're lined up inside the store, but if they're not, you can always grab them from outside. Um, we wanted the H cart just because we can organize the wood a lot better. to the wood selection we will be using for this project. We went ahead and we were looking at the white wood uh, for the slat wall because it has already cut out pieces that we didn't need to rip down to the size that she would need it. Um, so we were gonna go ahead and get the pre-cut just so if anybody else was wanting to do this project for themselves and they can go to this part in the Lowe's hardware store and go to this section. All the pre-cut wood is ready for you to use and we were just gonna use the 10 foot and chop it down to nine. I am going to be doing some math. Uh, the length of the wall is 191 and a half. So we like the way this width looks and with that little gap right there, the way she's going to want the design. Um, we're going to see how much boards we're going to need of these. So let's see. Okay, so 191.5 divided by 3.5. Now keep in mind guys, even though it says one by four by 10, doesn't mean they're actually four inches wide. They're actually three and a half. So always keep that in mind. If it says one by four or one by three, the one by three is not gonna be three inches. It's gonna be two and a half. Okay. So 54. So about how big of a gap do you want? 
<clears throat> I mean, like enough to see that there's like a space, but okay. I don't, maybe something like three and yeah. like three and a quarter, like a, a three quarter inch gap. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A few moments later. Two five. It's yeah, forty five. So that would give us forty five boards across, and then it'll give us that little space. So we'll need forty five boards of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just start, just start piling it on. So Savannah's never picked any of this wood out before. <laughs> so I'm gonna show her that if you're looking at this board, you wanna make sure that if there's not any kind of knots or anything, that's gonna create a, a hole. We're not gonna really cut these um, to where um, we're gonna be cutting them in half so we won't get any of these knots. So this is actually a nice clean board. Uh, you also wanna check it this way. You can definitely see if it's bowed or not. Um, this oh, yeah. won't be a problem because it's gonna be going on the wall on a stud, so it's not gonna be a problem if it has that little bow. But if it's warping like this in a C, we don't want that because we want straight lines. I wanted to jump right in guys and just let you know that if you are on a time frame, you can definitely pre-order the wood if you have the Lowe's app. You don't need to be a pro member and luckily I am, which is nice because whenever I need to get wood ahead of time, I like to order my wood and I usually go grab it and they're pretty punctual about having it ready either same day or sometimes I need it shipped and I go ahead and do a big bulk shipment and get that delivered to my house. Uh, in this case, Savannah was not too far away from Lowe's and I wanted to show her what she can do whenever she goes and does another project for herself. She can definitely look and search for the wood and not be scared to get an H card and walk down and pick out some of her own boards that she would like. <laughs> to jump right in right here guys just to let you know that Lowe's does have the caulking section uh, right by the paint anytime that you are looking for the caulk for whatever project you're going to be using whether it's the white color or the black you can definitely get that oh, where'd she go <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be doing dark kettle black it's a Valspar paint color You want to make sure guys that whenever you're going to be painting you do put down some blue tape as well as some kind of protection so you don't get paint on your floors. Trust me, I've been there and done that so it's just best to get it nice and prepped. guys we are jumping to a day two on day one we went ahead and finished painting the entire wall black that way it would just make this part of the project a lot faster so we're gonna jump ahead on to day two and show you what we've done so far hey guys we are going to be painting um, the wooden boards we're gonna pre-paint them and then from here we're gonna go inside and start nailing them on as explained, we went ahead and painted the wall black so that way it would just make the process go a lot faster. We also went ahead and we painted the slap boards black as well, put a few coats. Jalen was cutting them to the size they needed to be and I went ahead and painted. You can use a spray or two to get this process done a lot quicker guys.
You are going to come across outlets, guys, whenever you are doing a project like this. You can turn off electrical and pull them out and wrap it up just like I did with this one. And yes, this one is upside down. It came with the house and I didn't know how to turn it around, which is no biggie. You can definitely just carry on and leave it the way it is or get an electrician. And we are almost done. We're finally on that home stretch and I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys remember at the beginning of the video, but Savannah did mention she wanted the spacing in between each board to be three quarters of an inch thick, which is perfect because just so happens that the white wood was three quarters of an inch thick. So we use that in between each of the boards and it created these nice, gorgeous lines vertically that we didn't have any problems with towards the end of the project. We had nice square walls, which was nice. Doesn't always happen, but no biggie. Uh, we went ahead and we painted the baseboard black as well as the outlets. And once we were done with that, we caulked all of those nail holes and then we are on to some decorations. If you guys don't know me, I absolutely love to decorate whenever I am done with the project. In this case, we went to Hobby Lobby, got some really cute baskets, and we were ready to go. comment below, hit that bell for notifications, and subscribe. Um, Savannah, of course, is definitely one of my subscribers, um, so we'll catch you on the next video. <laughs>